Okay, just because I know 99% of you are only here for this part, here's the stock horn. Cool. And here's the sound bomb. Oh boy. <laughs> God damn it, that's loud. Alright guys, we got another new toy here today. Uh, another one from Denali. This is the sound bomb. It's a air horn for your motorcycle, and I had to go with the split version. There's the split version, or there's one where this is one unit, and I had to go with the split because I didn't quite have enough space anywhere on my bike to fit the single unit. The only difference between the two is that these are not attached to each other. There's just a, a hose that you connect between the two, but other than that, it's the exact same horn, and it's the exact same motor. They just didn't zip time together. And then they give you a hose to make your connection. And it just makes it a little bit easier to fit it in small spaces if your bike doesn't have enough room for the single unit. So you can pause on these if you want. And let's get it open. There's not really a whole lot going on in here. You got your instructions. Uh, here's the uh, big old zip tie and the air hose to go between the two. This is the horn. And this is the motor. And it comes with a relay, a little bag of hardware for mounting it, and another big ass zip tie. So I would, I would imagine most of you guys are not going to need instructions on how to make this thing work. It does tell you how to wire it up if you're going to use your factory horn setup. Um, you can't run this motor just on the same circuit as your factory horn. It draws too much. You'll be blowing fuses. So that's why they give you this relay so that you can use your factory horn wiring to control this relay. And then the relay controls a heavier duty circuit with a 30 amp fuse in it is what they're suggesting to operate the aftermarket horn. Um, I am going to be setting this up with a can smart controller on my bike. So I'm not going to be using the factory horn wiring or this relay, but if you're just here to learn about the horn, you don't need to worry about any of that. All right, so in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through the installation of the horn in this video because I'm also, if you can see in here, installing this uh, CAN Smart controller at the same time. It's a whole lot of stuff to install all at once, and I don't really want to take the time to film every single thing. So here we are with the horn just kind of rigged up here right now. And then I've got the CanSmart software up on the computer. And I just wanted to show you really quick how that part of it works. So the CanSmart controller came with the horn already set up on the blue circuit. So that's what I'm using. I'm plugged into the blue circuit. And you can see down here, auxiliary horn. And the only option you have for that is horn enabled. All of this other stuff with the lighting, if you wanna learn about how all that works, go and check out the other video on the CanSmart controller for the KTM. But basically what this does is allow me to control the horn 
with the factory horn button and without having to add any other wiring, just using what came in the kit, in the CanSmart kit, not in the SoundBomb packaging. One more time for good measure. Factory horn and the sound bomb go off at the same time, unless you decide to bypass your factory horn, but I don't really recommend that on a KTM because you will be dealing with fault codes on your screen. So here we go. Oh, this is loud. <laughs> anyway, I hope somebody found that interesting. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.